Our second method of investment appraisal is called the accounting rate of return. Now this calculates the average profit of an investment project as a percentage of the amount invested. And what it does is it allows managers to compare rates of return on a number of investment projects. So we're looking at return on our investment and we're looking at it as a percentage. If we front up with $1 million to purchase some sort of capital equipment, what percentage return what percentage return in profit is this investment going to generate for the firm? We've got this formula here, total profit during the project's lifespan divided by the number of years of the project and then we divide that by the initial amount invested and because we're talking about a percentage of course we multiply it all by 100. Now this formula is given to you in the exam so you're not going to have to sit down memorize it and regurgitate it come your IB exam business and management exam it's given to you the number the percentage that comes out is often compared to base interest rate so for example if you can earn 3.5 percent interest on cash that you've got in the bank then we want to make sure that our investment returns significantly more than playing it safe and putting our money in the bank. Right, we're going to run through an ARR, show you how it's done. Quite an easy one to um, get your head around. We're talking about the same salon, we're talking about the same sort of hairstyling equipment. This time we're just talking about a different capital amount. So we've shifted from 1 million that we used to purchase these in the uh, payback period. We're just using 400,000 now. So the new hairstyling equipment costs 400 grand. It's forecasting to generate the following net cash flows over the next five years. They're only going to last the business for five years. They'll need to be replaced after that. They'll look a bit shabby. They'll look a bit. Um, they'll look a bit worse for wear, and after five years, they're not going to be doing the business any favors. So they'll look at replacing them after five years. Year one, they bring in a hundred thousand. These are net cash flows again. Year two, two hundred. Year three, one hundred and eighty. Year four, one hundred and twenty grand. And year five, the net cash flows there are $100,000. A few steps here. You'll need to be able to memorize these steps. Nobody's going to give them to you. You'll have to practice and practice and get them sorted. So all we're going to do, step one, total the net cash flow info, total the net cash inflow over the entire project. So all we're going to do, year one cash flows, 30 year five cash flows, add them all up, and if your mass is as good as mine, they come to $700,000. The second step in calculating our accounting rate of return is the project profit. Now, net cash flows, the revenues coming in, the income coming in is 700000 but remember, it costs us 400000 to purchase the th things in the first place. So projected profit 700,000 minus 400,000 our projected profit is 300 grand. So cash inflow minus the expense of the initial investment is step two calculating the project profit. Our third step in this process is average annual profit. So if the project profits 300,000 and that's running over five years, 300,000, we're going to divide that by five and 60,000 is the average annual profit. So 60,000 on average per year is what this investment is returning. All we need to do now is find that as a percentage. So our average accounting rate of return 
average annual profit divided by the initial investment it's a percentage so we times it by 100 average annual profit we've got that 60,000 initial costs 400,000 that's what we're dividing it by 60 grand divided by 400 grand times it by 100 and we've got a 15 percent average rate of return that looks pretty good if we can get five percent five percent in these low interest times of ours um, that 15 percent starts to look very 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 good if we can only get five percent return on the cash that we're accumulating as a business in the bank we are definitely going to be looking at um, better ways to invest that money make a better return make more profit for the business which is what it's mostly all about